Britain's Supreme Court will meet today to decide whether a gagging order can remain in place to stop people in England and Wales learning about a celebrity's extramarital threesome. However, there's a bit of a sticking point because the name of the celebrity in question has already been published in Scotland, in America and in Australia. Ross King is in Los Angeles. So, I mean, without naming names, Ross, you know everything that we don't. Yeah, it is a very strange one. This the story came out here at the beginning of the month. Uh, the story came out. Some people picked up on it. Some people didn't. That's the interesting thing. You know, it was in a tabloid. People thought, you know what, maybe it's just another tabloid story. So the interesting thing is that the story here has really gone away. The story now is, of course, about the injunction in the UK. Even with the crew here tonight, I mentioned names and they said no idea what I was talking about. So it is interesting how the interest has gone a bit here. Also, with America being very litigious, people always think that the celebs will sue out here. But quite often what happens is celebrities tend to sue through the British courts because they feel that the courts here are more sympathetic towards celebrity than they are out here. Uh, a very strange situation indeed. You know, my family in Scotland know all the, the names too. So very strange. We can't obviously mention any names or we'd be in big trouble here. But of course, later on today, the hearing and the results will come through and then maybe you will know what we know out here. It is peculiar, isn't it, Ross? Thank you very much. Mike Gardner is a media lawyer here in London. It's a, it's a very strange situation. Ross knows. Ross's family, who are just across the border in Scotland, know. But anyone here in England, Wales shouldn't know sort of officially, of course, but if they go into the digital realm, they can find out quite easily. That's right, and that's all come about since the injunction was originally granted, because you have to remember that back in January when this happened, um, I think it was well before the story had been published in the United States. So at that time, it was a little bit more under wraps. But of mm -hmm. course, when the story came out in the uh, United States and the press here announced that it had come out in the United States, then everybody, of course, started looking on the internet to find out what was uh, going on. Yeah, one of the reasons that judges <clears throat> earlier on uh, this week had said that this could be lifted is because it is effectively everywhere. But now the person in question has said, well, hang on, I need one more appeal. So that's what's going to be announced today, isn't it? But people will be wondering if it is everywhere, could it not be in a newspaper's interests to make sure that a story like this in future is published in the States, is published in other countries, in order that they can then go to the courts and say, well, it's everywhere else, so of course we can publish it? Well, if, if an injunction, an interim injunction of this type, which is before trial, because the trial of this privacy action is many months away, hence you need to keep things uh, in check before that happens. If an interim injunction is made here against uh, the media and they deliberately leak the story overseas and it turns out that that's what they've done then of course they could be in serious trouble for breaching the injunction because they well, will have been doing something about it. If they have another uh, publication yeah. over in another country it's not leaking is it? It's just reporting in a different legal jurisdiction. It is but in order to get the information across the water to um, the United States or wherever they're going to publish, they would have to reveal that information and the injunction would say to them, you cannot reveal that information. Mike, the Supreme Court is sitting today. Do you think they will lift it? Well, it's a, it, they'll hear all the arguments. It's a, it's a live case. They will make their minds up. Um, I think that the celebrity faces an uphill struggle because this is really um, the application of pretty well-established legal principles to a particular set of facts and uh, that's what the the, the court is reluctant to disturb if it's if it's that kind of judgment. All right, Mike Gardner, media lawyer.